So we've had a big day today, going through the cemetery, finding Jim Morrison's grave, now at the Eiffel Tower. Look at these tourists. <laughs> Classic Australian. We are in the famous cemetery in Paris where Jim Morrison and Oscar Wilde and the likes of them were buried trying to find their graves, which is very difficult. We're here with our guest presenter, <laughs> Alex, em Emily's brother, <laughs> straight from Bangkok, met us in Paris. A little lost, but finding our way. Two hours later. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny because I'd, I'd put in a two hours late a bit when we were looking for the Da Vinci Museum in Florence. Now we're looking for the Da Vinci Museum. So we may have stopped for uh, a second lunch and too much of vino. I thought we were eating. You need to use like the, That's true. the main SpongeBob man. Hours later. Can you that? And like, there's like a cutscene and it's a French voice. It's like. Two hours later. We found him. Mr. Morrison. So something you obviously must do if you visit Paris is come and see the Eiffel Tower. On the scale of buildings, it's always on the smaller side of the larger buildings, but it, uh, it is much bigger than it appears. We're very far away, but it, and it's still looming, so. Fucking spectacular. Fucking spectacular. Okay, so we've been waiting here in the park outside the Eiffel Tower all day for the lights to go on. And they've finally arrived! Two hours later. Currently on Champs Elysees, or Champs Elysees. We don't know how to pronounce it. Champs D'Elysee. Champs with Elysee. We're, we're walking into a store right now, but it's where all the main stuff is in Paris. It's like the main street. This episode's gonna look weird because I had a beard for the first half of it, and now no beard. I better edit in order or that'll be very, very confusing. Guest starring Alex Barnes and Callan's identical twin, Beardless Callan. McDonald's, where you can order a Royale with cheese. So there are two ways to get to the Arc de Triomphe, or L'Arc de Triomphe. And those two ways consist of either taking this underpass, which we're going through right now, or running across a road filled with a thousand cars. I wanted to run across the road. He did want to run across the road. <laughs> 